Isn't it interesting that women always want the bad boy? Isn't it interesting that women always want the boy toy? Isn't it interesting that women rarely check in with God to discover whether or not that person that they like right now will last a lifetime? When I made my choice for my Japanese wife, I knew we'd last a lifetime. Unfortunately, at some point, she stopped fighting for us. And as a result, I wasn't as good for us. We still lasted 20 years. And what I can say to you, if you haven't had a love life, if you haven't had a wife, if you haven't had a spouse that you have served your whole life at least 20 years, please don't talk to me about my manhood. Because my manhood is fully intact, regardless of what you think of me. I'm not some silly little boy who sits his ass on a block. I'm a man who walks out into the community and gets played with all day long by law enforcement officers, by bastards of Satan, by shitbags who are in churches, and pastors who want to play, and openly, I don't rule the day, God does. And I hear quite clearly who is good, who is bad, who is wonderful, who is wise, and I can tell you, it's never a human. You see, the Lord is wise and wonderful is something that we sing in a Methodist church as a child. But the truth is, what I have to ask you is who's smarter? a human man or the Lord. You see, you want to keep your own continence, you want to keep your own counsel, you want to keep your own ideas, but what did you do? You broke the law, you lied to you, you lied about me, you stalled my life, and then you thought you'd have liberty on my ideas that came from God. Let's think about how smart that looks to the Lord's house. So you might be a marvelous bastard of Satan, and you don't care about God because you're no longer afraid of hell. Isn't that interesting? We build a whole continent here in America based on a desire to find our own right to have our faith, our own right to pursue our own religious practices, our own right to spirituality, and now we have a full nation of growing children that don't fear the Lord and don't fear Him and don't even marvel at the amazement and the wonder of God's magic. What a shame. Is it just the Wiccans and pagans that understand the Lord, or is it just a handful of Christians that might know the Lord? I don't profess to be any perfect specimen of any of those. But what I know about God today has been brought about by the two most and possibly three most amazing women in my life besides my late spouse, my late wife. So when I talk about the Lord, those lessons he's given me are far superior, far deeper, far running through my veins more than any human man who thought he was going to teach me a lesson.